What's up everyone, welcome back to Workshop Rebuild. Today we're back on the Bolins HC20 engine, which is the Kolar K532, and we got some new parts in, so let's put them on the engine. So right here I got the, the head gasket set from iSafe Tractors. So we have the intake and exhaust gaskets, we have the head gaskets and other miscellaneous non-asbestos gaskets right here. So this is for the carb. And we also got two seals. This is for the rear. So this right here is for the rear end of the engine right here. And we're gonna be taking this cover off here in a bit. And actually, I already went ahead before, and this cover I took off, I changed the seal up front, cleaned the shaft, and changed the seal right here from the timing cover. So that's already done, was done off camera. Uh, we'll have a look at the heads right here, and then we'll move forward to the rear end of the engine. Maybe the valve cover gaskets will change as well, since there's a little bit of oil here and there. And without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna be re-tapping um, all the bolt holes around the cylinder. And for that, we're gonna be using a 3 8 by 16 NC tap. Um, this one is actually for through bores, but um, we're gonna be using this uh, because it's the only one I have. Uh, this one you got to be careful because uh, the bottoming out can be an issue, but hopefully we don't have to go that far. Right there. That's what was in the in there, so we'll do the next ones. Okay, we just finished tapping all the threaded holes and now we're gonna clean up this face and the valves. Everything on the cylinder is cleaned up and now we're gonna focus on the head. Uh, we're gonna get this cleaned up, just the carbon and the face and that's all we're gonna do to this. And then we're gonna degrease this here where then our head gasket will go just like that. And we will get this ready for the install. Okay, so I finished cleaning the head. Uh, the surface is really smooth, everything is clean. And here I have two head gaskets that are gonna go on this face. But before you uh, just uh, choose one and slap it on, um, there is a right and a wrong way to do it. 
Um, these head gaskets are punched one way. So now when you look at them, there is from this side, it has been punched. So there is a little round area on this and then the back side is flat. So what you want to do is you want the flat side, which is the back side right here, against your block. And then when you put the head on, it'll squeeze against the rounded off area because the block has more surface area than the head. That's the, the way to put the head gasket like that right there. So before I attach this and screw it down to the torque spec, I'm going to go over this surface and this surface once more with some degreaser and then you'll see me put in those bolts onto the head. Okay, so we cleaned all the surfaces and everything looks good and now we can um, install the head gasket just like this. These bolts right here are 14 millimeter or 916s. And we're gonna use the torque wrench right here. This one is uh, rated from 20 to 100 newton meter or 15 to 80 foot pounds of torque. Online I found a torque spec for each bolt. They're gonna have to be 48 newton meter. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna um, take three steps up to 48. So I'm gonna take like 20, um, 30, 40, and then the last step is going to be 48 and uh, hopefully we can reach the proper torque spec. 48 newton meter. Okay, so now when you're done torquing that to spec, we're gonna go down here, release the spring inside, and continue with the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna have a look at the engine from the back end. Uh, what we're gonna be doing right now is taking these four bolts off, removing this cover, uh, exposing the internals, and our goal is to replace the old seal right here uh, with a new seal from the rebuilt kit. And uh, this seal, the function of this seal is to seal off any oil coming through by the crankshaft. And this uh, green surface right here is like a paste or a coating which will seal this um, covered area right here from oil to leak. And then behind this cover, what we're gonna have is most likely one of these gaskets right here. Right here. Looking at the old seal, this was really dirty here in the back and you guys can see right here, right here, right here, the seal already started to crack and that's why when I dismantled this engine or took it out of the frame, uh, there was a lot of dirt around here because it was leaking oil. Um, there is no issue with the cylinders since they are in very, very good condition, but uh, I'm glad I can fix this right here. So the new seal will hold or trap all the oil inside. I checked the pictures and what this cover actually has is the bearing is um, fitted into this cover and at the same time it's holding on the crankshaft. So I put the engine on its side to release the pressure from uh, the crankshaft. And I did now pull it off upwards. Um, very easy, no stresses whatsoever. Um, luckily it didn't crack this uh, plate right here since it is aluminum and now we can uh, remove the puller and move forward by taking this off right here revealing the gasket and bearing right here so this is one as you see the bearing is fitted into this and we have the snap ring holding that bearing in place so that bearing is going nowhere 
and we can check the bearing at the same time and wow that it's it's like new so now what we're gonna have to do is um, measure this gasket right here hopefully it didn't get squeezed too much and with the gaskets from the kit what we're gonna do is get the right thickness of gasket uh, replace that clean everything up here and uh, what we're gonna have to do is uh, put a rag in here and um, with some emery cloth what we're gonna be doing is taking this little um, ledge away that's f that was from the seal out because uh, when we put the new seal on we do not want any interference and or any junk or gunk getting behind it so our new seal will sit um, very tight on the shaft and hopefully we do not have any leaks so let's continue okay so what we have right here is the old gasket and we're gonna measure this right here I'm gonna make sure the surface is clean and the old gasket measures at around one millimeter and I save tractors uh, gives you five gaskets two are a little bit thinner about around half mil and then three of them are at one mil so this is the one I will be using right here one millimeter I will be um, putting the conversion down below in Imperial so without further ado let's install the new gasket before I put the seal in I'm gonna have to put this snap ring which is very important that keeps the bearing from moving up and down so when you're all the way down it's going to sound different on your hammer now what I'm going to do is just wipe off the excess grease, making sure that that lip is in good condition. The outer lip is just a duster and the inner lip is the real seal, but they both do help. So let's have a close up on that right here. That seal is all the way to the bottom all the way around and as you can see the lip is in amazing condition which it should be so hopefully we have an awesome seal right there